Dear friends, we have gathered here today to witness 36 of our youth receiving the seal of the Holy Spirit in the sacrament of confirmation. Through baptism, we become sons and daughters of God. Through the Holy Eucharist, we have been strengthened by the foot of eternal life. Today, with the reception of the sacrament of confirmation, we are more perfectly bound to the church and will be enriched by the special strength of the Holy Spirit, who breaks all barriers and makes us one. We pray at this Eucharistic celebration that the Holy Spirit will endow our children with his charisms and gifts so that they may reach out in service to the church and humanity at large like the apostles who after the Pentecost went out to the ends of the earth to spread the good news of Jesus Christ in order to build a strong and vibrant community of the people of God. We welcome Bishop Alvin de Silva and thank him profoundly for being with us today to administer the sacrament of confirmation to our youth. We also welcome all the candidates as we join in singing the entrance hymn.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Bishop Alvin de Silva, we, the candidates for confirmation, desire to receive from you the sacrament of confirmation, the gift and the power of the Holy Spirit that the apostles received on the day of the Pentecost. We have tried our best to prepare ourselves for this special day of our lives. We look forward to receiving the gifts of understanding, right judgment, courage, knowledge, reverence and wonder and awe in God's presence. All these gifts will help us to live our lives as true witnesses of Jesus, walking in his footsteps, imitating him in our words and deeds and building up our lives on gospel values. They will help us to face the challenges the youth face in today's world. We are happy that you accepted the invitation of our parish priest to come here and confirm us. So my dear Confirmandi, I think you are fortunate because you are going to receive the sacrament of confirmation on Republic Day. So, yeah, every Republic Day, you will remember your confirmation receiving the sacrament of confirmation. So as we prepare ourselves, let us pray also for our country. It's a very important day in the life of our country, so let us pray for them, pray for our country, and also I pray for you in a very special way, that the Lord may bless each and every one of you. And now let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Oh 
We pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit coming near and dwelling graciously within us may make of us a perfect temple of His glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, first of all, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful life and quiet life Sorry, peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good 
and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all, which is the testimony given at the proper time. For this I was appointed a preacher and an apostle. I am telling the truth, I am not lying, a teacher of the Gentiles in the faith and truth. I desire then that in every place the men should pray, lifting holy hands without anger or quarreling. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Our response is, my refuge, my stronghold, my God, in you I trust. Kindly listen to the tune. shelter of the most high and abides in the shade of the almighty says to the lord my refuge my stronghold my god in whom i trust our response my refuge my stronghold my god in you i trust he will free you from the snare of the fowler, from the destructive plague. He will conceal you with his bayonets. Under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is buckler and shield. Our response. My refuge, my stronghold, my God, in you I trust. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the plague that prowls in the darkness, nor the scourge that lives waste at noon. Our response, my refuge, my stronghold, my God, in you I trust. Upon you no evil shall fall, no plague approach your den. For you has he commanded his angels to keep you in all your ways. Our response, my refuge, my stronghold, my God, in you I trust. Kindly stand for the gospel. love we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head into Christ
the Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, We are offspring of Abraham, and have never been enslaved to anyone. How is it that you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever. And if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me, because my word knows no place in you. I speak of what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have heard from your father. They answered him, Father Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you will be doing the works Abraham did. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth I have heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. You are doing the works your fathers did. They said to him, We were not born of sexual immorality. We have one father, even God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God and I am here. I came not of my own accord, but he sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Bishop Alvin de Silva, I present these youngsters to you, whom we have been preparing for the sacrament of confirmation for some time now. Besides attending the classes regularly, they have been actively involved in the parish in their own little ways. Now I ask you to anoint them with the sacred chrism and administer to them the sacrament of confirmation. Do you judge them to be ready to receive the sacrament? Yes, I believe that with the help of their parents and our catechists, they have been adequately prepared well. So you look very happy, why? Because it's a big day for me. Big day. <laughs> okay. And you, why you are happy? Because today I'm going to receive the sacrament confirmation and the Holy Spirit. Okay. You're going to receive the sacrament and the Holy Spirit. But I tell you why you are happy? 
Now I want to tell you why you are happy. So you are happy because classes are over. Uh, bye bye, uh, Miss Sharin, uh, Father Vincent, Father O'Neill. Bye bye. Uh, we'll see you when we get married. No? Now classes are over. No, you had classes. So classes are over now. No? Hmm? So of course, as you said, you are going to receive the sacrament of of confirmation and Holy Spirit, and that's why you are happy. I want to tell you the importance of confirmation because uh, now you are in the 11, 12 standard. Hmm? So now is the age where the Holy Spirit is very important in your lives. Hmm? And uh, so one instance I'll give you. Uh, you're going to get married or join the convent? Maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get married. You get married? Where are parents are? Achha, parents are not here. Hmm? So now, at, the, at this age, of course, you are not going to get married tomorrow. But at this age, it's very important that you make a decision. Uh, should I stay single? Should I get married? Should I become a priest or sister? Now you have to start thinking. Hmm? Because uh, if you become a sister and, and God is calling you to get married, you will be unhappy. Hmm? Now who is going to help you to make this decision? Of course parents and fathers and others. But the Holy Spirit is going to help you. Now who gave the introduction? I don't know. Uh, Ms. Sherry, no. who gave the introduction? No, after that? No, no when I came? Ah, you. So what you said, you are going, uh, going to get the various gifts of the Holy Spirit. No? So one gift is the gift of wisdom. You must need the gift of wisdom to make the right decision. If you don't make the right decision, as I said, you'll be unhappy. You know, your vocation. So that's why you're going to receive the Holy Spirit today. So that you're going to make the right decision. Now, there are many other decisions that you are supposed to make. And what are you going to become when you, you finish college or not? So, means I'll be an engineer. You're going to be an engineer. Hmm? So now, now we have to choose a career. Now should I be a teacher? Or should I be an engineer? Some people in my parish, they get, uh, they get 40% in the SEC. And they want to become scientists. Hmm? So, you have to ask the Holy Spirit to guide you as to what career you are going to take. What, what career you will take after you finish your college. Hmm? Anyone becoming teacher? You. So you are going to become teacher. And some students will say, uh, pass Pass me, miss, because I'll give you some money. Now, what you'll do? Who you or you? Are you? I will not. No. Of course, now you're saying no. But, yeah, but in our daily life, you'll have to make a lot of choices. <coughs> and sometimes we, of course, she's saying I will not take, but sometimes you'll get frightened, you know? And you'll take. So we need the spirit, one of the, the gifts of the spirit is courage. To make the right choices. To go against someone. Now even though he or she is telling me to do something wrong. So the gift of courage. Hmm? So there are sort of various gifts that we are going to receive. Because I am not going to mention all. But that's why the sacrament of confirmation is very important. 
Because now you are going to receive these gifts of the Holy Spirit which will help you, which will help you in your daily life. Now the readings have told us that we are children of God, we are not slaves any longer, we are free. Now uh, I think uh, Mr. Shadin said in the introduction that you are called to be a witness. A receiving confirmation is, uh, okay, I receive now. No, you are you're called. The Holy Spirit is calling you to go out now and be a witness to Jesus. Now, how can you be a witness to Jesus? I'll tell you in one way. There are many other ways. When I look at India and when I look at our society, there are a lot of division. High caste, low caste, then this faith and that faith, dark and fair. So there are a lot of divisions. So the Holy Spirit is telling you to form a community of love. Sort of come together, go out and preach sort of love and make people united. So one day, you know, uh, uh, one day I went to the tribal area and I'm very clever, no? Huh? Yes or no? So I, for, uh, you know, I found all the tribals hungry. Then I said, what to do? So I kept some apples there and I told them, run. Nobody was running, why? So, all of them, they held their hands like this. And all of them ran together. So I said, what happened? <coughs> so, uh, so they said, we believe in this one word, Ovo Nato. What? Nato. Uh, if you don't remember, there's no confirmation. <coughs> so, Obo Nato. And what this word Obo Nato means? I exist because we exist. I cannot be alone. Uh, we have to be in a community. We tribals are all one. There's no distinction. If you have to get four apples, all of us will run and get those four apples. Now we don't go, uh, no, we are going to run fast and I'm going to take all the four apples. So, now why are you wearing mask? No, no, why, why? <laughs> huh? Yeah, why it is? You don't want to give it to the other person, no? No? And, and you don't want her virus to come to you. So we are very careful. Huh? Because now we live in a community, we have to be very careful and not give virus to one another. So this is what the Holy Spirit is calling you to. Hmm? To go out and bring people together uh, to love. And especially Pope Francis says, love the poor, uh, those who are suffering. So once you receive the Holy Spirit, you go out to love. Now what kind of love? There are only very few adults. Anyone married? Oh, Sharin is married. Okay. Now that. So when you got married, uh, you went to the hall. And then what happened in the hall? Achha, people were there in large numbers to welcome you. And on the stage, who was there on the stage? Yeah, in the hall. No one was there. The seat was prepared for us. Achha, the seat was prepared for us. Yes. Nobody else was standing? No. When they were coming to wish you all? Ah, the friends and relatives, parents. Parents? Mm -hmm. uh, you had your father? Yes. He was uh, giving me 
support like he was shaking hands with other relatives okay yeah very good father and mother hmm? <laughs> but you have gone for the reception <coughs> and the father what he does now he got one notebook and uh, amla mary gave 500 rupees so he writes down ha uh, amla mary how much 500 rupees when amla mary gets married i'll give her 501 only because she gave me 500 i'll give her 501 so this is a very calculated love uh, if you look uh, at the cross uh, jesus did not say uh, how much you love me so much i'll love you so even though we were sinners jesus gave his life for us so when we go out and love uh, how we should love uh, without calculating the the cost we have to love so every time when you come to church and you look at uh, the the crucifix uh, you have to say i must love like jesus is love i uh, not 500 rupees and and 501 but i have to give my I have to give my life for others. So remember these three points. Hmm? One is that you are going to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. They're very important now when you are in the 11, 12, and 13, 14 standard. Secondly, you are called to be a witness, a witness of love. And what type of love? Where you do not count the cost, where you sacrifice, just as Jesus sacrificed His life. I understand Dear friends through the Paschal mystery we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life Let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in his holy catholic church And so I ask you do you renounce Satan and all his works i do and all his empty show i do do you believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth i do do you believe in jesus christ his only son our lord who was born of the virgin mary suffered suffered death and was buried rose again from the dead and is seated at the right hand of the father i do do you believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and life everlasting i do this is our faith this is the faith of the church we are proud to profess it in christ jesus our lord amen the rite of confirmation now begins my dear friends in baptism god our father gave the new birth of eternal life to his chosen sons and daughters Let us pray to our Father that He will pour out the Holy Spirit to strengthen His sons and daughters with His gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ, the Son of God. All powerful God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, You freed Your sons and daughters from the sin and gave them new life. Send Your Holy Spirit. <coughs> send your holy spirit upon them to be their helper and guide guide them the give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of right judgment and courage the spirit of knowledge and reverence fill them with the spirit of wonder and awe in your presence we ask this through christ our lord <coughs>
the Spirit, we are sent to serve. We are called out as brothers. We are called to work. The Spirit is a moving all over, all over this land. The Spirit. Heavenly Father, having received the gifts of the Holy Spirit in the sacrament of confirmation, may these youth of this parish serve you and their brothers and sisters in the way that are pleasing to you. May they grow up to be responsible Christians, filled with the desire to reflect your presence wherever they may be. Our response is, 
Spirit of the living God, come abide in us. Kindly listen to the tune. for blessing us with the gift of wisdom that will enable us to do things in a mature and responsible way. Help us not to get carried away with the pressures we face from our friends and from the media. For this we pray. Spirit of the Lord, we thank you for the blessing us with the gift of understanding. Help us to empathize with people in different needs and situations. Help us to change ourselves for the better and look at things from your point of view. For this we pray. Spirit of the living God. Lord, in the competitive world we are living in, we need the courage to be different, to stand for what we believe to be right. In spite of pressures from peers and dictates of the world, may the values ingrained in us through the Gospels motivate us to take a stand for truth, justice and righteousness. For this we pray. Spirit of the living God, come abide in us. Lord, help us with the desire to increase our knowledge about you through your word. May this knowledge along with what we learn in the world guide us towards intelligent living for the benefit of our families and society so that we contribute to making the world a better place. For this we pray. Spirit of the living God, come abide in us. Lord, Help us to make the right judgment with regard to choices and decisions in our life. Whether in field of our careers, choice of our friends, or in developing right attitudes and habits. Protect us from being easily influenced into doing things for selfish reasons. <coughs> Help us to learn from our mistakes and move on in the right direction. For this we pray. Spirit of the living God. May all that we have learned about our faith enable us to love and respect you, our place of worship, our parents and authorities whom we have faced over us, and all that you have created for our benefit. For this we pray. Spirit of the living God, Lord, help us to be committed Christians, growing in relationship with you, the church and the world around us. May our prayer be more people-centered 
lifting up needs of others to improve the quality of their lives for this we pray spirit of the living god come abide in us lord bless us with sensitive hearts so that all our actions flow from genuine love wishing the good and happiness of others may we follow the footsteps of jesus has we reach out generously to the poor the sick the elderly the orphan and those who feel rejected and lonely for this we pray spirit of the living god God our Father you sent your holy spirit upon the apostles and through them and their successors you give the spirit to your people may this work that begun that began at pentecost continue to grow in the hearts of all who believe we ask this through Christ our lord amen, amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church receive in your mercy o lord the prayers of your servants and grant that being conformed more perfectly to your son they may grow steadily in bearing witness to him as they share in the memorial of his redemption by which he gained for us your holy spirit through Christ our lord the lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit lift up your hearts we, we lift, lift them up to the lord. lord 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he poured out the promised Holy Spirit on your adopted children. Therefore now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. God is our Father and we are one big family. So in confidence, let us say the words our Savior gave us. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory, glory are yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Always near. Always near. 
Let us pray. A company with your blessings from this day forward, O Lord, those who have been anointed with the Holy Spirit and nourished by the sacrament of your Son, so that with all trials overcome, they may gladden your church by their holiness and through their works and their charity foster her growth to, in the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We would like to thank uh, Bishop Alvin Da Silva for coming here and confirming 36 of our youngsters. And as a sign of our gratitude, I would like to ask, uh, I would like to request Father Vincent Thomas to present a token of our appreciation and gratitude to Bishop Alvin Da Silva. Also requesting our youth president to present a little gift hamper to Bishop Alvin Da Silva. A warm and cherished afternoon to everyone present here. It is my privilege to propose this vote of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who have worked hard to make this Confirmation Mass a success. It is a day we have always looked forward to share the joy of the Lord. Finally, we have witnessed it and are grateful to the Lord. With humble gratitude and honor, I express my sincere thanks to Bishop Alvin de Silva for being present today and blessing each one of us with the Holy Sacrament of Confirmation. We thank our parish priest, Father Vincent Thomas, and our spiritual director, Father Onel Rodriguez, for leading us from the beginning to this day of Confirmation and making sure each one of us know the importance of what we have received and bringing us closer to our Catholic faith by encouraging us to walk on the path of the Lord. I would like to give a sincere thanks to our dear teachers, Shireen Ma'am, Michael Sir, Elvis Sir, and our guest speaker, Dr. Verima Pereira, who fed us with the word throughout the year. We have learned, experienced, known, and even grown higher out of their teachings and guidance. Also, thanking all our parents for being a support throughout our journey and for sharing your blessings upon us on this holy day. Thanks to the choir for their prayerful singing, the sacristan for the mass arrangements, and not forgetting the youth members who helped with the floral decorations, the backdrop, and the mass recording, and everyone who has helped to make this Eucharistic celebration an enriching experience for each one of us. So thank you, Father Vincent and Father O'Neill for inviting me uh, for this Eucharistic celebration and to confer the sacrament on, of confirmation. And I pray in a very special way for all of you that the Holy Spirit may guide you. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Your response is Amen. May God the Father Almighty bless you whom he has made his adopted sons and daughters. Reborn from water and the Holy Spirit. And may he keep you worthy of his fatherly love. Amen. Amen. May his only begotten Son, who promised that the Spirit of Truth would abide in his church, bless you and confirm you by his power in the confession of the true faith. Amen. Amen. May the Holy Spirit, who kindles the fire of charity in the hearts of disciples, bless you and lead you blameless and gathered as one into the joy of the kingdom of God. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father, 
the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
Spin